Hello everyone and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. I actually remember the title this time, which I am quite proud of. Anyway, I'm, I'm moving through, I can't even remember what exactly it was that I was doing, unfortunately, because I have the memory span of, of not particularly great when it comes to like coming back to games after like being away from them for like a day or two even. So that that's kind of like one of the excuses one uses when you're you know, you really need to go and do something else. It's like, no, 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 I just need to finish this while I remember. And then, you know, you get the next thing. It's like, no, 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 I just need to finish this while I remember. And then, of course, you, you get the next thing, and, and so on and so forth, and it's fairly awesome. And, if I remember correctly, I reloaded this so we did not dig up the poor person's daughter in front of her and then murder her over it, because that would just be kind of sick. Anyway, we found Esmeralda's shop, and I do remember that she is like his widow oh, and like stuff. Esmeralda dearest, I'm just doing my duty, you know. For the Legion. Well, you certainly are my hero. The rock. Um Wow, she got over that quickly. Like ridiculously quickly. Seriously. Never fear, my lady. As long as I'm around, no hair on your haloed head shall be harmed. Right. But you haven't been fighting those awful orcs. What the hell is wrong with you, lady? Oh, but don't you worry, my lady. We legionnaires are highly trained soldiers who fear neither orc nor demon. Oh, what if you were to be ambushed, caught unawares? Oh, I'm just gonna like stand here for a little while because I feel like I'm building up evidences to this woman being. What the hell was that motion? That was very weird. But let's talk to this guy first. I've been informed about your heroics on the beach, where that I had been there to partake in the battle, but my duties lie here, sworn as I am to protect the lady from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her, even though she is until proven guilty, wholly innocent. And what do you think about her? Hmm? As if we don't know. So, fair lady, I have seldom seen in all of Rivalon, my friend, and I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. That is unlikely. She stands accused of murder, but in my mind her presumed guilt is a fallacy and indeed a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her, never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me, and I hold no such proof exists. So it sounds like this guy might actually really believe that she is innocent, and if you prove her guilty to him, he will probably kill her. Because he'll be like, how could you? I trusted you. Stabby stab. Let's discuss his death. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Cecile. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador that he, of all people, should have braved the undead siege for so long only to be felled by foul sorceries. Heart rending. Okay. So, Bye! Let's talk to her. Because you are wholly suspicious, lady. Lord, and that guy's gestures are. Like, dude, that's just so wrong. Anyway. Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here, yeah, because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? Let's discuss your husband's murder. Like I told you, just about every legionnaire in town. I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. You're no different, are you? I totally suspect you. But I only suspect you as being part of it, not, like, the whole thing. So what happened? Some of them... Little tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger, and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Alright, let's see if you can tell me more about this stuff. Tell me more about him. Since the beginning, this has been a particularly favored region of Rivalon, even before there was a major settlement here. These cliffs were a special holy site for the ancient pagans. It's hard to believe our great city has been so easily crumbled. Tell me about the undead. Those newfangled weapons of his, be the throne of decay, yada yada yada. Bye. Okay, seems to be quite adamant Sorry. about her innocence. We'll need to look for evidence Would if we want to prove why? she actually did the evil deed. Hmm. but seeing that I'm neither married, engaged, or attached in any way, I have never bothered to inquire. Polite, handsome, and single. Don't go anywhere tonight. What the hell, lady? That is messed up. Seriously. Like, even... I'm, I'm kind of believing that she's innocent just because... 
I really want her to be guilty, so she's probably very innocent. She's probably like the most innocent person in this entire village. Just because I really, really wish that she was guilty because I do not like her. Like, at all. She got over that way too quickly. I mean, for all we know, his body's still warm, wherever it is. If it's, you know, maybe she ate it. Maybe she, like, stole it and then ate the body. Just disposing of the evidence. Like, gnawed on the bones or something. Ugh. Where is this mage dude? Like, seriously, he's supposed to be up in the up these stairs in his quarters, yet I find him nowhere around here. He is just nowhere. Nowhere to be found. Hmm. I just, I don't know where the hell this guy is. Wait, what? This is him? He is the cat? Okay, Greetings. thanks for that. He's been there this whole time. Oh, excuse me for walking into a room and expecting to find a guy and being like, oh, well, he's not here, there's just a cat. Oi. Whatever. So he's the cat. He is, in fact, the cat. Welcome to my most humble atelier. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Please correct me in the comments. No need to look so flabbergasted. It is I, Arhu, in my other rather preferred guys. So now that the cat is out of the bag, what can I do for you? Get in the bag! Get right in the go right in the bag. Um Who or rather what are you? Oh, I am but a wizard, a guardian of man and beast, and indeed I am both. So you're a man beast. Fair enough. Whatever. To each their own. Like any other, it is bound to temporal decay, but my spirit is a speck of light that shone forth from the eternal sun that is the cosmic soul. My task upon this earth is to protect the heart of nature, the very antithesis of which is the intrigue spun by demons and directors of the dead, hence my involvement in Cecile. You see, saying that kind of sounds more like a druid than a mage, or a wizard, whatever. See, wizards to me generally are a little bit more, well, who cares about the environment, I just want to blow stuff up. And you you kind of give off the very druidy vibe, the very druidy vibe here. You see, my one desire is to witness a world in which every mother looks around her and purrs with calm contentment, for she knows that her chicks, her children, her cubs, or calves, will grow up without knowing the meaning of menace, the enfeeblement of fear. That's actually that's kind of nice. I can't really fault you for that. To my regret, none of them purrs yet. Um. Well, if you turn them into a cat, they might. So we could like go to door to door and uh, and uh, you know turn them into cats. That would slowly start giving you that something like that. Polymorphing has always been a hobby of mine, and I use it quite often. Does it surprise you that I favor my feline figure? Ah, oh, it does many. But then again, you haven't experienced just how far certain boundaries are pushed back when you tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. It's a hand to s it's wow. It's handy to speak in more than meows, no question. Opposable thumbs, I couldn't break I couldn't brew potions or make machines without them, this I freely admit. But to be with out in the night to stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness, you couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. Now you see, this is the problem uh, with your what you're saying here. You go out hunting, yet you want everything to feel super safe. You can't have both, man. Like, you can't be like, oh, I'm going to turn into a, a wolf or, or like a cat or whatever and go around and, and eat a whole bunch of baby chickens and be like, I want all of the, the, the hens to not have to fear for their baby chickens or their chicks. And it's like, you can't have those. Those are conflicting, you fool. Anyway. Isn't it dangerous to polymorph like you do? What if you get stuck in another form? Oh, that'll never happen. Granted, a witch could make the polymorph permanent if she'd enchant me and my cat guys, but I'll just have to be careful around witches, won't I? I'm my own wizard, you know, and I don't intend to become anyone's familiar. Oh, I suppose it depends how familiar. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Can I, like, get this guy to join my party, and then, like, I can throw him at people, and, like, he could latch onto their face and, like, claw the crap out of them. Um, how did you design those magical ballastae? What can we do about the undead? In truth, I don't know. They've been clawing their way out of the ground for two years now. And for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. The Legion did a good job keeping them at bay, but I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballistae, they'd have gotten the better of us by now. 
Someone is responsible for the outbreak. Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that searching for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's fur. I'm, I'm just trying to find if there's some way to get you into my party, so... Let's discuss his, uh, his murder. Her investigation fares well. Let's discuss his corpse. His body is gone, replaced with that of a sheep. This is all very disconcerting, to say the least. Grave robbery reeks of necromancy. Could Jake have been involved with those that raised the dead? It seems too improbable to be true, but nevertheless, you are onto something, Hunter. Do follow the scent and see where it leads you. Okay, this is an interesting turn of events. I didn't really think of the fact that uh, this Jake guy may not have actually been all that good. Maybe he even faked his own death, for all we know. Hmm. That's an interesting possibility you bring up there, Aru. Seems too improbable to be true. Yada yada. yada, yada, yada. Well, who, in your opinion, are the subjects? I myself have none, even though the rest of the town has already mentally tried and convicted Jake's wife, Esmeralda. She is definitely innocent now, because everyone really hates her, including me now, because she's... yeah. You're supposed to be mourning, woman, but anyway. Now, it may well be established that she is, in fact, the guilty party. I'm not claiming that I'm certain she's innocent, but let's just say that if I really thought this murder case would be so very easily resolved, I wouldn't have sent for source hunters. What happened the night of the murder? I can but piece together what few morsels fell from the grapevine into a rather disappointing meal, I'm afraid. They say a woman arrived in the King Crab Inn some time after midnight. She retired to a room on the ground floor where she was soon joined by a man who had been nursing the same cup of wine for hours. I say man and woman because both of them were cloaked and recognized by none. About an hour later, another figure arrived, heading, headed for the same room. Soon after, a terrible commotion erupted and the thundering light of magic was witnessed by the few remaining patrons. It took a while for the landlord to pluck up the courage to enter the mystery room. When he finally did, he found Jake there, dead. Now and wh how, wow. How and wow. How and why he came to be there, no one knows, but I had a good look around the scene of the crime before the Legion barred anyone from entering. The traces of magic I felt were vile. Source, no doubt. Is there more you can tell me about the picture? Let's change the subject. Okay, I'm going to take my leave then. It doesn't seem to want to join me. Um, if that is even a possibility. It'd be kind of cool. Oh, what do you want? Look, I'm not one to stuff my nose where it ain't invited, but whose harebrained idea was it to install a wizard to fight dark magic and Cecile? May as well invite a shark to protect minnows. Knowing how his kind thrive on sticking their fat fingers into the natural order, it surprised me about as much as a sack of potatoes to find out Arhu himself is a sorcerer. This place does look somewhat like a madman's worship, doesn't it? I'll have to keep a close eye. Okay, well... We will have to keep a... Yeah, I'm going to go with option two. The, let's just be more clear-headed. Because this Medora chick, she really hates anyone that uses magic. May not seem like it, but I think we're all of mind here. Why I see it, a magical being like your wizard friend is most likely to become familiar with sorts. Though I suppose all of them can't have done it at once. I'll keep my guard up about this Arhu character, but you needn't worry about my doings wrong by him. Okay. Well, you know, it's probably good to keep suspicious of people. Let's not talk to this guy unless we're in... No, let's interrogate... How do I save? Let's save first, and then interrogate him. Just in case I have to play rock, paper, scissors to see if I can intimidate him with my rock, paper, scissory skills. Oh no! He got scissors and I got paper. I'm so intimidated. I'm shivering in my boots. I'll tell him anything he wants to know. You again, do you feel free to depart from Cecile at your earliest convenience? Um... discuss his murder. Still not finished with that sorry matter? Have you found any incriminating evidence against her? If so, let's have it. Ah, uh, no, buddy. Uh-uh. Bye! No, you, you seemed... You seemed so eager for me to provide ev evidence against her. No, 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 no. You think hmm. that's funny? Right. Maybe I should have said like, aha, there was a corpse. What did you do? How were you involved in this? But, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Go to the mess. I don't really want to 
tell him anything, because I think that he is about as evil as evil gets, because I don't trust him. I think that all of these people are completely untrustworthy. Except for... I think that the wizard is probably just a, a wizard, and he's probably just a cool guy, because why would he get source hunters here in the first place? Why would he get people... When this was when he wasn't at risk, why would he risk bringing in someone to reopen the motor? So I would say it's probably not him. And I would say the wife, it's probably not all the widow now, I guess. Maybe, because he could still be alive or something. But I would say she's probably not it because she's such a bitch that everyone's going to want it to be her, so naturally it won't be her. Because that's not the way things work. You don't get the person you want to be guilty of things to be guilty of things. Unfortunately, it does not work that way. Anyway, hmm. Now there was that other chick that was like super giddy or something when she was coming to collect the body or, or do something, or delivering the body, yeah, it was delivering the body. So she was like super giddy and he was saying like that was, that was fairly strange. So maybe we should go there. What is this place? Oh, this is the abandoned house. Which we got some sweet paintings from. Which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool that we got those paintings. Legionnaire. I'm still trying to solve this murder. I kind of like these murder mysteries in, in these RPG games. This is one of the things that I like about them so much. It's just, just, there's just so much stuff you can do in them. I mean, you got like elements of like you got a murder mystery that we're investigating. We go around clubbing orcs to death at the same time. You know, it's just like a whole bunch of different stuff that we're all doing. Let's go and run in this direction. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I shall find her. His rainbow of war machine. It is said, and this I have heard from the good hand. You, who knew Elliot, who is said to have known Sigurd himself. This is like a, yes, this is some kind of play. Great first. So ardently did he crave creamy blue. Why, is it, is it really that entertaining, or are you just like really drunk? I'm going with the drunk option. Serenaded by a severed head. Can you Who is Cedric? Let's talk to him. Greetings. You there, sit, stay a while, right in front. I'll excite you, I'll delight you, I'll beguile you, I'll besmile you. I'm Cedric the Sensational, and I'm, I'm, I'm playing to an empty audience. Yes. Yes, you are. Tell me about yourself. Don't pity me, no, sir. Just a few years ago, I was the all-singing, all-dancing, all-sensational darling of the town. People came from far and wide just to witness my amazing act. When Reginald came, he brought some fantastic prop with him. Have you seen it? A talking head! I never expected a silly gimmick like that to be my main competition. Tell me about the competition between you. It seems even my usually choosy audience has been taken in by that hacked little gizmo. I'm a man of skill, sleight of hand, feats of wit, and pure entertainment. This curio is ruining what used to be an art. And even when there's no crowd to speak of, old Reggie still has at least one fan calling bravo and hee-haw. Sure as the sun sets, that one devotee attracts five more, and those five more all curious about the commotion. I don't know how he inspires such loyalty with less, talented, with less talent contained between his hat and his boots, and I've... And my crusty kerchief. Ah, yeah. Well, that makes that makes a lot of sense. It sounds like we have a little little game of him paying someone in the crowd. Yeah. What are you looking at me for? Yeah, right. I am nothing but your average man taking in the best show I've ever seen. I'm amazed. The same show all day? That seems like a bit much. Well, I've stumbled into quite a quite a fine gig. I just let my appreciation for Reggie's work be known, and he slips me a few gold coins in return. My voice happens to carry pretty far. Cecile hears me. Cecile wants to see what the fuss is all about, and let me tell you, this amazing show just can't be beat. Right. You there, take a seat, prepare to laugh your head off, cry your eyes out, and teeter on the edge of your seat with an original tale from Stefan the Talking Severed Head. Okay. Let's discuss your crowd warmer. Are you impressed by my prowess in the arts for entertainment? Nothing attracts a crowd like a crowd, and that crowd warmer has increased my profits by 60% simply by showing a little honest appreciation for our show. How about your competition? Ha! Ah, yes, I know of that talentless bull. He was here entertaining the troops before I was brought in. I'm sure the hack simply bored his audience to tears until they cried for a replacement. Enter Reginald the Illusionist. 
We need our boys in red happy, relaxed, and ready to fight, not wasting their energies crying at a cringing, not crying, cringing at a fool with the depressed rabbits in a borrowed hat. Tell me about the talking head. That's right, a talking head, and he just doesn't talk. He'll wave, weave you a yarn so fantastic you'll be begging to hear just one more and just one more. It's quite a story how I found him, too. Uh, yeah, you're not going to take me in that easily. Nice try, though. A talking head? What dark sorcery is Jeez, this? lady, you're going to get annoying if you keep being like, Oh my god, magic! Kill everyone in sight! How dare they use magic? I mean, you're going to see this chicken and be like, It must be a ma magician that's killed a chicken. It probably is, in fact. And judging from your average RPG, RPG games, killing the chicken is a really terrible idea. That's it for this episode of Divinity Original Sin. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one if you enjoyed it. And for more Divinity Original Sin, click the thumbnail on the right. Or if you want something a bit different, try out Orcs Must Die 2 by clicking the thumbnail on the left. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in future videos. Cheerio for now.